happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah so we got another huge update guys we're seeing this coming on fanny the felon over in fulton county georgia guys very rogue and corrupt disc attorney um today we got america first patriot jim jordan now coming forth uh new attacks into this disc attorney new probes into her sides i feel like it's getting really uncomfortable for miss fanny willis now guys her seat as disc attorney is getting really loose and uh you know courtney Cramer is easing her way into that spot because Fanny Willis negligence as a disc attorney, guys. I'm excited to get into this update, see exactly uh, what Jim Jordan's investigation entails. So we're gonna get straight into the clip and I'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video, guys. So definitely stick around until the end. So you guys get my thoughts on the back end. And also YouTube pushes this video out. Definitely stick around until the end, you guys. But yeah, let's get straight into it. We're gonna do that though. Make sure you guys hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Looks like Fanny Willis is in even deeper trouble, this time with Jim Jordan for misappropriating grant funds. This involves uh, Amanda Timpson, who is our whistleblower, and this these are federal investigation coming down on Fanny Willis. So this is yet another opening against her. So we approve. It's good news. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. I got a little tip from Amanda Timpson, who used to be an employee of Fonnie Willis. The little something something article came out on Jim Jordan uh, investigating Fonnie Willis. We're just going to read it. Justice Department uncovers inconsistency in Fonnie Willis's use of federal grant funds. Now, this is the U.S. government going after her on a different route. The bombshell discovery comes two years after Willis fired a whistleblower who had warned the district attorney that her office was attempting to misuse a $488,000 federal grant to pay for swag. That's a warning Amanda Timpson gave to Fonnie Willis. It's the same grant that the Justice Department's Office of Justice Programs now says is plagued with reporting discrepancies from Willis's office, errors that federal authorities only disclose to the free beacon after providing contradictory statements regarding awards Willis's office may have made under the grant a convoluted spaghetti mess of Fannie Willis lying about details as they ask specifics. So the government it gives $488,000 grant to this Fulton County office through Amanda Timpson to do like work with inner city kids and give them an alternate to going to jail and all that. Fannie Willis comes in, says, we'll be taking that money. And we'll be buying computers and swag. Miss Timpson recorded the conversation because she knew that Fonnie Willis was starting to persecute Miss Timpson instead of go after the bad guys that are, you know, misappropriating this money. Next thing you know, Fonnie Willis has seven guards walk Miss Timpson out of the office and she's fired. She goes to the government. That's where this investigation came from. Just so you guys know, Miss Timpson, you know, can't just come on the show and start blabbing her mouth like I do. You don't want to slander a judge. You don't want to yell at a judge. You don't want to make fun of a judge. I never want to make things harder for the good guys. I want my show to have the, make the good guys do better and make the bad guys furious and cry and sob in the corner. That's what we want. We have noticed some inconsistencies in what Fulton County has reported to the federal sub-award reporting system. And we are working with them to update their reporting accordingly. The Justice Department did not provide any further details on the nature of Willis's reporting inconsistencies on the $488,000 federal grant, which was earmarked for the creation of a Center for Youth Empowerment and Gang Prevention in Atlanta. The grant ended September 2023. But the center never opened. No dough. The dough went into Fonnie Willis's office and no center to help the youth ever open. Justice Department is coordinating with Willis's office to fix the grant reporting inconsistencies amid an ongoing House Judiciary Committee investigation into Willis's use of the federal grant funds. Where'd they go, Fani? Where'd the money? Committee Chairman Rep. Jim Jordan. Yes, please. Subpoenaed Willis in early February to record related to the $488,000 federal grant and the whistleblower allegations made by former Willis staffer Amanda Timpson, whoa, 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 who was listed as the grant director until the district attorney ad abruptly fired her in January. This little like five foot tall woman 
and had her walked out of the building with security guards armed. Further, Jim Jordan threatened to hold Willis in contempt of Congress on March 14th after the district attorney responded to his subpoena with a narrow set of documents that had nothing to do with Timson's whistleblower allegations. Willis wrote in response that Jordan's demands were, quote, unreasonable and uncustomary and suggested uh, his investigation was an effort to derail her election interference case against former president Donald Trump and that Jim Jordan, you know, was probably, you know, racist. Whether or not offender alumni, alumni association received payments from the federal grant depends on who is asked? Oh, that's always good. Well, did you get the money or not? Well, that depends on who you ask. Fulton County records show that Willis's office transferred $88,000 from the federal gang prevention grant to the Offender Alumni Association. Uh-oh. But the group's administrative director, Tony Barnett, told the Free Beacon that she had no idea why the county was reported making those payments to her group. She said, I don't know what you're talking about. What money? Quote, I have no idea where that information's coming from. I have no idea why you're calling or where you're getting that information from. I don't know what you're talking about, unquote. Guys, this is how you survive in Fulton County, Georgia. This person's like terrified. You be scared. Someone comes and starts poking around asking about your receipts. CR. Thank you for your membership. We had a little private time together, me and the members. And again, I'm, I don't need your money. I'm not asking for money. I'm saying if you want to help, it's $5 a month. And, and as a special bonus, I'll be doing little private sessions with you all. Offender Alumni Association co-founder Deborah Daniels and Chief Operating Officer Dana Dickerson did not return several uh, subsequent requests for comment. I don't want to say they're guilty. They're only saying we don't comment. Now that is how you make it, Fulton County, Georgia men. Do not talk. That's some serious Soros intergalactic interstate <clears throat> inter-office money backing all their stuff. Justice Department spokeswoman told the Free Beacon that federal authorities had no records on any subgrant payment from Willis's office to the Offender Alumni Association. The Offender Alumni Association is not listed as a subgrantee for the grant award. Hence, the questions regarding the organization as a subgrantee are not applicable. Someone sent them down a wild goose chase. No one tracked any of the money or it's in cash and finding Willis's mattress. We wouldn't know. However, the Justice Department changed its tune after the Free Beacon informed it that its records contradict Fulton County's records, which disclose $89,000 in sub payments to the Offender Alumni Association. Wait a minute, there was a payment? Yeah, there was a payment. Okay, let's change our story. Now we gotta change our story. Quote, upon further research, we found that Offender Alumni Association is included as a Fulton County sub-guarantee in subsequent documents. We apologize for this internal error. Oh, we're sorry. Before we said we couldn't, we didn't know of a payment. Well, now we do. Sorry. They were probably about to throw Amanda Timpson in jail and go, oh, wait a minute, we screwed up. Okay, sorry about the jail thing. What does their IRS do, you know, when they try and tax Fonnie Willis? Fonnie Willis goes, I took some of my campaign funding and I... I kept it, you know, in my mattress in cash. It's a black thing. Yeah, uh, you're excused. It's a black thing. What about Hunter Biden? Why did he get his taxes excused? He's a white thing. The Justice Department refused to provide the free beacon with copies of the subsequent documents. <laughs> Oops. Showing Willis's office made subgrant payments to the Offender Alumni Association or the date that Willis's office reported the payments to federal authorities. Willis did not return a request for comment. Yeah, no kidding. Miss Amanda Timpson still fighting the good fight. And Fonnie Willis uh, has the weirdest, bizarrest accounting anyone's ever seen. It looks a lot like corruption, 
because let's face it, it's probably corruption. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Doug in Exile. I'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below. For those who want to go over there and check that out, also you guys go over there and show our friend Doug a bit of love. Oh my goodness, guys. We're seeing America First Patriot Jim Jordan absolutely getting after Fannie Willis, that corrupt and rogue disc attorney of Fulton County, Georgia, guys. Her seat is, you know, getting further and further away from her being reelected in, guys. We got Courtney Kramer sitting in the balance waiting, you know, waiting for her spot as this attorney you know to actually serve some justice up you know and start cleaning up you know fulton county georgia guys we got fanny willis who you know has blatantly used her office just you know as a weapon you know going after political opponents um you know and all her personal interests you know seeking personal gain now we're seeing that jim jordan you know america first patriot is furthering his claim furthering his probe and investigation into you know fanny willis's wrongdoings um you know whistleblower amanda timpson came out and said earlier this year that fanny willis was you know misusing that grant money that her office was getting apparently her office was not using that money you know for a youth empowerment gang prevention center but instead you know taking these trips and trying to buy you know computer devices and swag is what they were calling it guys now we've got jim jordan springing into action guys fanny willis will not be getting a pass on this one like what we've seen with you know judge scott mcafee the evidence is there she is going to be you know held accountable for that and that's what we need to see you know that's why she feels like she can do whatever she wants to do with that seat as district attorney guys and why she acts the way she does you know so rogue and so corrupt because she hasn't been held accountable yet you know she's been able to you know slip through the cracks and get away from everything and you know never be held accountable for her actions because she's always race baiting and you know playing it down to being able to use that race car and it actually working but not this time we've got jim jordan you know further in that probe guys i'm excited to see you know where this one goes where jim jordan will take it i know we've seen it being introduced um, earlier this year, I think it was around February, we've seen it being introduced for the first time where Jim Jordan, you know, had subpoenaed Fannie Willis. Now we've got him furthering those claims, you know, trying to really get to the bottom of, you know, where that grant money was going. It seems really tangly, you know, it doesn't seem like they're trying to make this, you know, clear and transparent. I know if I had, you know, any type of questions on my office's end about where we were using, you know, grant money that we were given by the federal government, we wouldn't have any problem, you know, handing over our, you know, our books having our account and hand over the books, all of our receipts, and being able to track down where the money was spent. But no, that is not the case with Ms. Fannie Willis and her office, guys. They are dragging their feet and making this as hard as possible for you know the feds to figure out what's going on, where that money was spent, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Where do you guys see Jim Jordan you know, getting on this probe with Ms. Fannie Willis? Is this the one that's going to finally knock her out of that seat as district attorney, you know, allowing for Ms. Courtney Kramer to ease her way into that spot? Guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button share this out to as many facebook friends as possible guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button guys it doesn't cost a thing hit that like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one we